Woo! Always moving. <laughs> Alright, so we're back here at day one in the shop. And uh, so our main goal for today is like, we're pretty much starting with a blank canvas as you guys know. So one of my coil buckets is already cut off, which is awesome. So we're gonna work on cutting this other one off. Uh, there's a bunch of rivets that are gonna suck and we gotta do it all old fashioned way. We have torch and hammer, do it really old school. Uh, Dusty's getting the motor mount out. Uh, this one I'm hoping is still, cause we had like a bolt on one of them that was just spinning. So we got that one out and this one should come right off. Then the motor mounts will be out of the way. Get the coil bucket off and then we'll start torching this guy out. But we're gonna mark a center point just so I kinda know where the wheels are supposed to sit. Um, so I know if I have a center point, I can drill my hole to match this dowel pin, which is technically the center of this. So you can see there's a dowel pin here and that goes right to the center of the hub on the Crown Vic, so that's where my wheels will sit. Wherever that hole is drilled is where the wheels will sit. So I wanna make sure that's perfect. I'm also eventually, once this is cut out, gonna bring my core support up and bolt it up so I can hang a fender and actually see exactly where the wheels are gonna sit. I'm gonna get some wheels for that so we can roll it around, make everything a little bit easier, but uh, we're gonna start getting these motor mounts out and get to cutting this thing out. Keep the time lapse for the boring, hard, and annoying rivet work, yay. <laughs> But then you get down to the corona part where it's like all open and it just, it's, it's a good. You're on the wrong way. Uh, uh, it's good. Oh, okay. It's all on you guys. It's all on me. Okay, try that. Are you good? Uh, yeah, you're good. Yay! Eat. Whoa. Are we, are you on this one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this one's double nutted too. Look at this. Why is there double nuts down here? I mean, I the other side wasn't even like that. Good. Yeah. Ow. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got both of them. <laughs> yeah. For sale, Rubio. Alright. Just try to make it as like level with the frame you can't Alright, well we're gonna cut it off, but our oxygen ran out, so we have no cutting ability with the oxyacetylene with no oxygen. So we're gonna do it old fashioned way, take a four inch grinder and cut it off, which is gonna suck. So I'm pretty much just gonna have to cut or grind down the face of that rivet and then just pound it out with a sludge, huh? Because we're gonna have to have a, a punch. This is gonna be fun. So a like 15, 30 minute job just turned into like an hour. But oh well, it's all right, fun, right? We're gonna get this coil bucket off today. That's my goal. So we're gonna go. So I'm about to go ahead and file these down so I can punch the actual rivets themselves out, but I forgot there are two bolts on the bottom of this thing. I have no idea why, um, but there is, I think, an access point right here, 
I believe there's one on the other side. If not, I have no idea how to get that. Oh yeah, there's the other one. Uh, you can see the head of it right here. So I believe they're five eighths, I'm not sure. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and take those bolts out first, just so if the rivets break, I don't have this hanging uh, bucket there. It'll make it a little bit easier to get out. I'm gonna go ahead and take those bolts out now. And then I can pretty much just beat this thing with a hammer and a punch and just keep grinding them down and then just whack this thing with a sledgehammer and it should rip off. So uh, we'll get right to it. All right, ready? We'll pick it up and you slide. Oh, look at that. Oh, we're golden now. That's beautiful. What? Perfect height. <laughs> you can keep this one in yeah. the seat. Got it. There we go. The big boy. So that's weird. On um, this one, there's no nut even. So I should be able to just impact and it should just slide right off. Oh, that's not good. It's just spinning. Great. That's not good. <laughs> Dang it. I don't know what to do now. I mean, I mean, you can't even like get a hammer in there to, to hit that. That's not good. I don't know. We're gonna take a commercial break. We'll be right back with the message from our sponsors. <laughs> Hey guys, Krispy Kreme here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, update. There's actually a nut down there. Underneath all that stuff, there's a nut. So we will get this out a little bit easier now. Alright, our two bolts on the bottom are out, so I just gotta flatten these down with a grinding wheel and then hit them with some sort of punch, uh, which we got. Some hella old school stuff. Yeah, drift punch. Oh yeah, we're getting old school. This is gonna suck. <laughs> so we're gonna have to punch these things out the old fashioned way. Not break my thumb. It's not even moving, huh? Hmm. Well, time to get a bigger hammer. Oh, I can't hear anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I think it'll be all right. Yeah, he has moral support right here. We're chilling. Oh god, you missed. Oh, it's doing a thing. Oh yeah, yeah! Bigger hammer. Yeah, dude, it worked. Well, the rivets are still there. Are you serious? No, leave them. What? You don't want to fill those holes later. Just grind them down flat. Yeah. Fill the holes. Yeah. Oh my god, dude. And then we can just weld on the top and grind them flat. Those rivets are freaking stupid. Those things didn't even move. <laughs> Look at that thing on the other side. They just cut them off. This is the one you drilled, and then it just kind of folded on yeah. itself. It's like, it's like mushroom past that. Yeah. We... And this side, they just like cut it off. Did they? No, those holes. Those ones are out, right? These ones aren't it. Oh yeah, I think you're right. Well, no, there's a couple of them, but those are the main ones right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well then. <laughs> what? You <like> water? <laughs> yeah, I'm down. <laughs> So I don't think I showed this last time, but as we walk out of the back of this legit barn, which is pretty pretty badass in my opinion, got an outhouse, and then you've got the GoPro is not gonna like suffice. I know I, when I get a nicer camera, I'll show you guys a little bit better, but uh, you've got the view of Lake Henshaw in Southern California. People would know what I'm talking about. All the lake, and then you've got the entire valley that goes all the way out Warner Springs area. And it's just, it's super, super sick. So I literally can just like walk outside and just pop a chair up and just chill and look at that. And it's pretty cool. So super, super stoked that we get to do this and have a really cool view while we're doing it. But uh, we're taking a break right now from mine. We got our coil bucket off, we're filling in. We're currently filling in all those holes. I feel like I really need to go get the other camera because I'm definitely like getting welding slag and gr or no, grinding sparks all over the lens of this camera. This camera's case and just destroying the case. 
So I need to chill. Go get the other camera, put the other camera like right up close. I don't care about that camera. But uh, Dusty's about to weld his rear end and he got everything to greet up. So right. cool. Let's do it. So we got most rivets and the coil bucket off the side. I cleaned up most of this side. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna support the center of this frame for when this gets cut out. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a tube. Uh, the measurement I believe is 33 and three quarters. So I go in ahead and I measured out 34 inches. Uh, and I'm just gonna cut it big at first and then I'm just gonna size it down to what I need. Um, I'm pretty much gonna be going right in this section of the frame, right across, that gives me a nice structural support area. Um, I can still mount everything that I need to mount. If I need to mock anything up, it'll kind of just be out of the way, but it'll support the frame rails. So when I cut this thing out, it won't want to bow in on itself and just screw everything up. So this is a very, very important step to do. So I did want to make sure I get this thing done and put in. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this tube, mock it up, and then we're probably gonna have to shave like a quarter inch off to uh, actually slide it in there and then we'll tack it all in. I'm like stalled out for the day. I can't really cut out the cross member because we ran out of gas. I think I already said that once. So I guess to kill time, I'm gonna go ahead and try to strip all this weird red paint off the frame. Uh, I just got a wire wheel and I'm just gonna go ahead and just go over the whole frame. There's a lot of corrosion on this cab mount I wanna take off. Just kinda clean and start cleaning up the frame just cause I got nothing better to do. We did this one section and you can kinda see at the top here. It's pretty good. Uh, grinded a ton of those rivets. That gigantic disc is insane. So I had a little bit of fun with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start cleaning this stuff. That hurts so bad. It's like getting pelted with asphalt or something. All right, so this is where we're stopping. Like I said, we ran out of gas there, so we'll probably get that filled up, and then we can cut the cross member out and mock the front end up, but uh, not too bad. Got the coil bucket off. Front end's kind of cleanish. Got this tube in. Not too bad. So we'll finish it up uh, on Thursday, I believe, and uh, get this thing pretty much this center junk cut out. This is gonna take forever to cut. We're gonna torch, torch it from the center here and then have to probably hand cut out everything inside of the C-channel in the frame. And then mock up the crown back. I need to get some wheels for that so we can move it around. But uh, should be good. So yeah. So like the video if you did enjoy. Let me know what you do think down in the comments below. I'm not sure what I got going on for the rest of the week. I just know Thursday we will be back in the shop cutting that cross member out and actually hopefully getting the front end slid over. I do have to kind of find some sort of wheel that would make it a lot easier to roll around. Uh, so hopefully that'll happen. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.